Welcome to Scrutinize My System. For this episode, we will be examining the fourth incarnation of the Macintosh system software. This will be the last version of the operating system where we will rely on the version number of the system itself. Starting with version 5, the operating system will be labeled with their version numbers directly by Apple Incorporated. So for this episode, we will be taking a look at the final upgrades quietly added to the operating system before Apple as a company officially labels each release with a version number. Apple as a company began to accumulate loyal fans. Despite the competition, people stuck with Apple for various reasons ranging from ease of use to the fact they were the first ones to commercially release a graphical user interface to the average customer. John Scully was not a computer person, and he knew this well. Unlike Steve Jobs, though, he deliberately avoided direct intervention with their product development, and instead focused on what he did best, advertising. Surprisingly, this worked to the company's advantage in multiple ways. Without the stubbornness of Steve Jobs forcing specifics on the teams, everyone expressed opinions and shared ideas on a relatively even platform. The best of ideas were used, and everyone took pride in their work at Apple. Concerns that existing customers had were promptly addressed, including two specific issues. The first was the expandability of the original Macintosh computers was rather limited. The second was the infamous monochrome monitor, as people immediately asked for a color display. The answer? Enter the Macintosh 2. The Macintosh 2 was designed from the ground up to be the perfect studio system for whatever people wanted to do. Originally started shortly after the release of the original Macintosh, the project was kept secret until Steve Jobs severed ties with the company. Everyone involved put their best ideas and their best efforts into this machine, making it Apple's pride and joy upon its release. Do you want to make music? A superior sound chip allowed the computer to play CD quality audio right from the machine. Want to render in 3D? Both the graphics card and processor have the power to easily take on the task. Color? The Macintosh 2 supports 8 colors at 640x480 resolution. Need another screen? The Macintosh 2 originally demonstrated with 3 screens at its announcement can support up to a whopping 6 color monitors at once. This is triple what their competitors were capable at the time. Starting with System Software 4, the operating system has been upgraded to support the new features and colors the machine has made available. Now the colors of Apple can be displayed, as the world has introduced a much more capable machine. Okay, so the interesting thing about uh, System Software 4 is when they came out with the Macintosh 2, it was supposed to be like this super colorful machine that was supposed to you know, bring out the colors, make everything really happy and everything. Problem was, when they released it, and I'll show you this, they didn't exactly give you a whole lot to demonstrate the colors with. So let's start off with System Software 4.0. Um, and this is the one that was uh, prior to the Macintosh 2 coming up. But you see the color icon in the corner over here. My assumption is that's the part of the operating system that is stored on the computer itself. That's doing all the graphics and everything, but you look at this and really not much has changed. You can come in here, you can get your info on the utilities disk. Um, you come to about the finder, it looks almost pretty much the same. I mean, there's a few different names on here. Uh, you got version 5.4, 1987, and they promptly replace this with 4.1, which we'll demonstrate in this episode too. Alarm clock's the same. You can extend this and it's literally the same thing. Calculator, same thing. Chooser has gotten a little bit of an upgrade because there's been, uh, um, I don't have an Apple Talk attached to this thing, but they've gotten a little bit of an upgrade because, well, Apple's released more hardware at this point. Uh, control panel has changed. Let's take a look at that for a second. So you've got general options, which is your basic functions that were on the other op operating systems. So you got your desktop pattern, you got the rate of insertion point blinking, speaker volume, you got the time, you got the menu blinking, you got a RAM cache, which I'm not gonna play around with that. That's, um, you got your date, you got your uh, time, you got the keyboard on here. Once you come over here, you, um, 
they added everything into like what looks like a menu so you can just scroll up and down and this operating system this specific version only has four options on here you got the keyboard which you got the rates and then you got the delay until repeat you got the mouse which gives you the option to do a tablet this is a virtual machine so that's uh part of the reason everything defaults to tablet i mean it's not going to really affect it with the uh the mouse but um you got startup devices which there's nothing else on this thing so not much is going to pop up there and then pretty much everything else is going to be the same uh find file that's your uh search you got keycaps pretty much the same now from here on I'm probably not going to show too many of the tools except maybe scrapbook I'll probably show you that scrapbook has uh, got something else going on for it um, you'll notice that as we scroll through this you know this stays the same this is the same this is the same this is the same but you notice that the Macintosh icon is missing from the previous operating system and I'm not exactly sure why it could be deliberate because this is when they're getting ready to change that icon but everything else is pretty much the same you still got the um, hierarchical file system pretty much not much has changed in that realm so let's go ahead and restart it <clears throat> so this one is 4.1 which allegedly gives you a little bit more color control and I'll show you that in the control panel but everything else is pretty much the same now you can come down here you have an option for monitors because this is the operating system that came with the Macintosh 2 so obviously they would have to have some sort of monitor support and you notice that you know right off the bat it's it's set to color that's why you got this uh, color icon in here watch this corner here when I switch this from 256 colors to 2 this changes now it looks like pretty much every operating system prior to this the black and white kind of creepy and everything even though everything else is the same just that little bit if as soon as I switch that to 256 something about it just that icon alone I don't know what it is about that icon but it just it's enough color to make it not look nearly as creepy in my opinion the problem with this operating system though is there's not really a whole lot to demonstrate the colors in this machine you have to get essentially third-party software to put under this Mac to be able to render all the colors the operating system itself is not really gonna have full uh, take a full advantage of the colors until about system software 6 and I'll demonstrate that later on in another episode but you got the mouse, you got the sounds. Now the sounds, I've been having some problems with the virtual machine. I'll, I'll try running this in another virtual machine because um, these ones are kind of quiet. But you got a simple beep, which is the, the machine beeping itself at you. And you can tell it sounds a little bit different because I'm running this off of the uh, um, Macintosh 2. So why don't we cut this out and I'll show you what this sounds like in the uh, Macintosh Plus. All right, so we're booting up the Macintosh uh, Plus. Uh, the resolution is going to look the same because this is the, uh, obviously it's running in a virtual machine. So let's go ahead and open the exact same operating system just to show you. Now, I did take this in a couple takes. And I just realized that when you come into the control panel, the Macintosh Plus doesn't have nearly as many options as the Macintosh 2. Which, I mean, I guess kind of proves, kind of makes sense because the Macintosh 2 had a lot more uh, to it than the Macintosh uh, Plus. The Macintosh Plus obviously is an all-in-one computer. It's got a built-in screen, blah, 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 blah. So the expandability is not going to be quite all there, whereas the Macintosh 2, you pretty much have a box or a tower, whatever people like to call it. And, you, and pretty much a lot of it is modular. So the control panel was more designed for a modular computer. The Macintosh Plus was obviously not all that modular, so there's it's kind of limited on what, you can, what it can do. But the operating system itself is pretty much the same. Um, 
you still got the scrapbook and everything. So they didn't really have a whole lot to demonstrate the Macintosh 2 besides, well, the, the sound, which unfortunately I was not able to get working in this virtual machine. But uh, this is, to be honest with you, I'm a little disappointed having a brand new computer coming out and everything. And, you know, they're really spicing up the fact that there's color on it and everything. But ultimately, the designers kind of felt that the the whole demonstration of the colors lies on the responsibility of third-party developers. They their mentality at this point was to create a machine that opened doors for other people to essentially use. So they're, they're more focused on getting the tools out there more than anything. So that's part of the reason the color option was not, um, I guess, taken advantage of with the Macintosh 2 yet. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, uh, thanks for watching. And we've got more uh, videos coming along the ways. Uh, we've got Windows, we've got Apple. We got Next that's coming as well because Next is going to have a huge influence on the later versions of macOS and we'll cover that in separate episodes. So we got Windows, we got macOS, we got Next Step, and then we've got um, OS 2 and we got a couple other versions uh, or a couple of other different operating systems that we'll be covering over. So if you want to see some more, subscribe and thanks for watching.